Good morning. I'm Dr. Raghav Ghatani from India, and I'm here to reinforce the extensively studied correlation between tuberculosis and nutrition. Stop TB, fight poverty. We said in the same breath in the year 2002 for the World TB Day theme, linking the trends of rising cases of TB and poor response to treatment with factors attributed to poverty, including food insecurity and undernutrition. About one-third of the world population, almost two billion people, are estimated to be infected with mycobacterium tuberculosis, the causative bacteria for tuberculosis. In 2014, a staggering 9.6 million became infected and 1.5 million died of TB, with highest rates being observed in sub-Saharan Africa and India, the developing nations with higher rates of malnutrition, comorbid conditions like diabetes and co-infections with HIV. The risk factors. Most people who get infected never develop symptoms as their immune system manages to control the bacteria. Active TB occurs when the infection is no longer contained by the immune system and the typical symptoms of cough, fever, weight loss, night sweats, chest pain and sometimes coughing up blood surface up which brings us to the major risk factors for developing active disease. The major risk factors for developing TB is impaired immunity and increased exposure to infectious persons. The resurgent global trends of TB epidemic. Malnourishment and hence impaired immunity is directly influenced by socioeconomic factors and presents a challenge in lowering the morbidity, mortality and the incidence of TB. HIV infection knocks down the immune system and leads to inadequate response to primary mycobacterial infection and progression to active disease. These are the factors that are responsible for the resurgence of global TB epidemic along with drug resistance. Fight TB, fight malnutrition. The question we are dealing with here is that can we fight TB more aggressively if we fight malnutrition and food insecurity simultaneously? Why focus on TB and nutrition? The relationship between undernutrition and active TB infection has been known for millennia now. Good food, sunshine and healthy living were the presumed best ways to address this disease. In England and Wales, the decline in deaths from active TB between 1838 and 1967 was hypothesized to better standards of living and nutrition rather than the advances in medicine. The relationship between TB and nutrition is bidirectional. Undernutrition is a known risk factor for developing active TB and having active TB leads to loss of weight. In studies conducted in rural India, it was found that severe undernutrition at the time of diagnosis had an increased risk of death compared to healthy patients. The impact of undernutrition on tuberculosis. Vulnerability to progression from TB infection to active TB is related to macronutrient deficiencies that induce impairment of cellular immunity and this impairment is found to be rapidly reversed with nutritional rehabilitation. Children with severe protein energy malnutrition are at higher risk for developing tuberculosis. Some evidence suggests that low birth weight and exposure to malnutrition in early childhood might predispose to increase vulnerability to TB. Moderate to severe malnutrition in patients with TB is found to be associated with high risk of early death. Malnutrition can also delay recovery time in patients with active disease. Also, it has been found that the BCG vaccination response appears to be reduced in malnourished individuals. Interestingly, in a systematic review, people with healthy weight have lower TB incidence than do people who are underweight but also people who are overweight have even lower TB incidence. The triple trouble. Active TB is likely to increase energy requirements and studies have shown subjects to have an increased weight gain on food supplements during TB treatment but unfortunately there is currently no evidence that they improve TB treatment outcomes. Co-infection of HIV and TB introduces an extra dimension to the pathophysiology of malnutrition, worsening the malnutrition seen in TB or HIV infections alone. 
the risk of primary progressive TB is higher in people with HIV infection. The lifetime risk of conversion from latent to active TB is around 5 to 10 percent in otherwise healthy population. But this can rise to around 50 percent in people with severe impairment of immune system due to conditions like HIV infection. Studies have shown that nutritional supplements in co-infected TB HIV patients improve treatment outcomes. The strategies for TB control. After decades of relative neglect, global efforts to control TB were reinvigorated in 1991. DOT's strategy was developed by WHO. It was initiated in 1991 and included government commitment to TB control, case detection among symptomatic patients, standardized chemotherapy for sputum smear positive cases, regular drug supply, and supervision and evaluation. Now, how, how far did we get? By 2012, 86% of TB patients treated in DOTS program worldwide were cured, but new challenges emerged during implementation of DOTS. In response, the Global Plan to Stop TB 2006 to 2015 was developed by WHO. The 2015 MDG target of halting and reversing TB incidence has been achieved, with TB incidence falling globally for several years about 2% per year in 2012. Target 2035. The new target is to achieve the post-2015 global TB target of 90% reduction in TB incidence by 2035. An analytical model to estimate the effect of undernutrition on projected TB epidemiology until 2035 was created. According to this, TB incidence will be decreased by about 40% compared with 2012, which is still far below our target 90% reduction. Assuming undernutrition is eradicated, the model predicts that the 2035 global TB incidence would be further reduced by 18%. The effect of this eradication of undernutrition on TB burden would be highest in African region. The recommendations. All individuals with active TB should receive an assessment of the nutritional status and appropriate counseling based on the nutritional status at diagnosis and throughout treatment. Malnutrition should be managed as per WHO guidelines. In conclusion, because of the clear bidirectional causal link between undernutrition and active TB, nutritional screening, assessment and management are all integral components of TB treatment and care. Poverty and food insecurity are both causes and consequences of tuberculosis and therefore recognizing and addressing these wider socioeconomic issues is of utmost importance. Thank you all.